what's going on. So, let's put this here so you can see it. So, this happens all the time. But, I had a message the other day from some guy, some, some random barber in, I don't know where he was from, something like Ohio or something, I don't know, I don't know. Um, scruffy looking guy, tattoos on his face, but not like cool tattoos, like more like I'm addicted to meth tattoos, If you, you know what I mean, don't you? B blonde hair. Like a smelly version of Machine Gun Kelly, but this isn't really what's important. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter how he looks, does it? The important part is, he asked me to send him clippers because he wanted to be sponsored, ambassador, whatever you want to call it, blah, blah, blah. I told him no. And then... His reaction to the word no and me saying no was, was ridiculous. It was like when you ask a girl out on a date, she says no and you call her a slut. It was exactly the same as that. But what I found more weird than that is afterwards he started saying, let's box. Right, so let, let's box. So me, he wanted me to fly to wherever trailer park he was from in the USA and box him and I just find that like the most fascinating thing like for starters right I wouldn't fly 15 hours for anything I'm quite afraid of flying to be honest with you but so why would this guy think that I would fly over to America to meet up with this random person and have a boxing match and he was like, I'll pay for your flight. So, what do you mean, bro? Like, what, what, do you, what, what does anybody know why that would be a good, like, why that would be a treat? Like, what do you think I'm going to say? Oh, brilliant, you're going to pay for, like, am I a slot? Am I some kind of slot? Or you just pay for my flight and I, I come over and we have a little date, like, Come on, bro. Get get it together. Um, but either way, you, you're not going to find people fighting random people on the internet. Now, I, I know they do it. I know they do it, like, in some scenes on YouTube. And the, because, and the reason they do it is because they, they need money, right? So... They try and do like the influencer boxing. I'm not saying I'm an influencer before you start saying it, but influencer boxing is very big because people like dispute resolution, which I agree you should resolve your disputes. But I don't have a dispute with this guy. I just don't want him to be a ambassador. And then the second thing is not only do I not want to be an ambassador, and I don't really know who this person is but nobody's gonna fight you for free unless they're real unless they're really young or really ghetto or they're protecting the family like nobody's gonna fight you for free bro like they're, they're not and does everybody have a number i don't know but i don't think that anyone would pay me the number that I would need to fight some random after a 15 hour flight in a boxing ring in America. Don't get me wrong, I'd beat the shit out of him. But, I'm not doing it. Because I'm a fucking, I'm a grown up. I'm a businessman. And... Yeah, I don't know why. I'm still concerned about like that. I'll pay for your plane. Like, do you think? Do you think I'm a dickhead or something? Like, do you? Wh why would you need to pay? Wh and wh what airline? You didn't specify what airline are you going to fly me? What what seat class? Did you think you're going to fly me across on fucking um, on economy or something like that? You are mad, bro. 
Like you might at least let me know what airline it's going to be. Like maybe that'll change my mind. Maybe I want to come. If you like, listen, bro. I will fly it over Emirates first class uh, there and back. You can have um, the Skywards points um, picked up at the airport in a limousine. You're taken to the Shangri La, whatever the five star is in this shanty town. That might, that might sound a bit bad, do you know what I mean? I'm still not going to do it, but I'm just saying, be more specific, make it sound more appealing. Like, do you know what I mean? You're an ugly guy. You, you might get a girl if you pick her up in a Rolls Royce, but she's probably not going to get in your Skoda or your Honda or whatever it is. Like, she, she might not do, but she's more likely to get in a Rolls Royce. So just next time anyone wants to offer me a boxing match. I'm because I'm I'm really sure this guy can't box at all. But next time anyone wants to offer me a boxing match, like give me some incentive. Because sitting on plane to physically touch some little greasy little meth head after fifteen hours is not my idea of a good time. Thank you for listening.